Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this credit video, we will be showing you seven ways to import images into Krita. As you can see, we are using version 4.4.5 of Krita. If you are using an earlier version, some of these procedures may not work. And in newer versions, things could have changed. So, why use different methods of import? Well, you could have animation frames that need little to no adjustment, or a procedure build in Krita requires a certain layer layout, and the fashion of import puts you right where you need to be, shortening the workflow. Also, take note while clicking on the Krita Create a New Document window, being that I know the program I want to send my exported items to, I have the size set accordingly, so as to avoid using a distort or something of that fashion later. Being that said, open Krita and let's begin. Once Krita has opened, for our first import, downsize Krita, go to your file system, navigate to the image you would like to use. Grab the image, drag it to the box on the Krita interface window, and drop. Notice this function automatically opens Krita, placing the image into the background layer. In order to work with this image, the layer will have to be unlocked. But, of course, you can add new Krita layers to add items to the image or make other adjustments. For the second Krita image import method, notice on the Krita interface window, Krita keeps a list of images imported into Krita. If you see the image you would like to use in this list, just double click it. Krita imports the image in the same fashion as the first process, as you can see. For our third import method, we will have to create a new Krita document. Once this is done, in Krita, go to File, scroll down to Add Animation Frames, and click. Then, click Add. Navigate to the images you would like to import, highlight them, and click Open. And then, OK. I found this Credit Import function quite interesting, as all the images are on the same layer but are automatically positioned on the timeline. For our fourth and fifth Krita imports, once again, create a new Krita document. Once this is done in Krita, go to File, scroll down to Import Animation Frames, and click. When the import window appears, click Add. Then navigate to the image to be imported. But this time, only click a single image. Once this is done in Krita, repeat the process, bringing in yet another single image. Now notice our images are both on their own layers. For our 6th and 7th imports, create a new Krita document. Once this is done, downsize Krita. In your file system, navigate to the image you would like to use. Drag the image straight to the Krita canvas. Notice the drop-down menu that appears. We will only show two from the list. 
Let us start with reference images. Scroll down to insert as a, a reference Im image and click. Then we will use the same image, but this time we will use the Krita insert as a new layer. Now we can move and or manipulate our newly imported Krita image. But in doing so, I have off clicked from the reference image. In order to gain control of the Krita reference image, in the toolbox, click on the reference image is tool. Now notice a box has appeared around the reference image and it can now be adjusted. We hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? Ringing that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out.